get you round of applause Alright A pretty picture for the ones that are lost in life But even dreamers are the power to save a friend And I know you are a friend that you feel again You can take it to the grave of the door Good morning! So today is very exciting because we are off to Athens. We're just waiting for our taxi who's going to take us to the station and then we're going to get our train to Gatwick Airport and then I think we arrive in Athens about 5pm so just in time for some nice dinner. It's a short break so we're just going for the weekend, we're actually going with the post office um, and we're basically looking to explore how to enjoy Athens in 48 hours. So yes, hopefully it should be an exciting video. I've never been to Athens, neither's David, so it's completely new for us. So I hope you enjoy coming with us and seeing what we get up to. So we are finally at Gatwick Airport after a bit of a funny journey. So we basically got to the train station and all of the trains to Gatwick, which are normally I think like two hours and it's a direct train, they were all cancelled due to a broken down train. So we then had to order a taxi and get a taxi to take us to Gatwick. So we're now here after £100 down, which is fine because the trains are expensive as well. But it was a bit of a, a bit of a mammoth journey this morning. But we're here in plenty of time. Luckily we set off really early so we're not late. And we're just having some food in Wagamama's, having a really chill time in the airport for our flight at lunch time. So we should be there for dinner and hopefully get some nice Greek food. But now we're gonna have I'm having chicken catsick curry. What are you having, David? Chili ramen, I think. Chicken katsu curry and chili ramen. Chili ramen. I don't know whether to get these glasses. <laughs> so we're just about to board our flight to Athens. They're making us wait outside, which is slightly strange, but we're heading on up and we've got a four hour flight ahead of us. arrived at our hotel we're staying at the Divani Caravel which is just outside the center of Athens it's actually later much later than I expected it's about 8 30 p.m. here so I think we're gonna go for somewhere to eat quite locally and then we'll go into like the main city center tomorrow but the room is very very nice the hotel's lovely breakfast isn't included unfortunately which I find really weird because a lot of hotels seem to do that recently and I thought it was just part and parcel of staying somewhere that you get breakfast in included but anyway I shall give you a little room tour while the room has not been completely messed up by us so this is the room as you come in it's got a very big bed cream and green bed and then a big desk that runs the whole length of the wall I'm not sure what kind of view we have yet because it's very dark outside but not really much of a view and then a nice little chair a big TV, and David, <laughs> and then I think the bathroom's actually very nice. A big mirror, dressing gowns, lots of nice toiletries, and me. So we've come up to explore the hotel a little bit more and we've just come to the rooftops. We thought there might be a bar here, said there's a really cool pool. It does have a very pretty view. Um, but there's no bar so we were hoping to get some cocktails here but I think we're just going to go and find a Greek restaurant and eat dinner but the pool looks very cool I'll show you the view from up here so we've come to the cutest little Greek restaurant and they don't really speak English but the menu looks very good and they've just bought us a whole basket of bread sorry to ruin your picture so I feel like anywhere that does that is very good I think I'm going to get the chicken sakaki I think it's called and David's going to get a bisaka yeah. 
so we had a lovely dinner and we're now back at the hotel i'm ready for bed we're gonna get up early in the morning and make the most of the day so we're gonna get an early night i think so i shall see you in the morning good morning everyone so it looks very bright and sunny outside and we are going to go and find somewhere for breakfast have a little wonder kind of get our bearings so and see what we can find so we're just about to get on the metro to go into the city center hopefully we get the right one Apparently today is a national Greek holiday, so there's a big parade, there's lots of security, lots of things going on. So we've come to Athens at a very good time. chilled morning we had some lunch at a, <laughs> we had some lunch at a little greek place just had some more chicken and vegetables and then we we came across a load of markets oh, i'm about to fall off a rock in a minute we came across a load of little markets so we've just sort of been strolling through there and we're now walking up a cliff face sort of um to i think the ruins so we're just kind of there's a parade on today i think we've actually missed the parade but we've been seeing loads of airplanes going over head and yes i think we're just gonna oh there's a man balancing a gold ball on his head over there you can see and i think we're just gonna stroll up here try not to break a leg and go and see what everyone is having a little look at. There's a party going on down there as well. It's all happening in Athens. I don't think I mentioned before, but we're actually, we've actually come here with the post office who sent us on this trip. And it's all about how to enjoy Athens in 48 hours on a budget, which, oh my God, David. Wow. David's trying to persuade me to go to the top, but he's just basically fallen off a rock. So it's not the best example. But yes, as I was saying, we are here with the post office. So we're basically looking to explore and they've sent us to Athens to see what we can do in 48 hours on a budget. So I find that really interesting personally because I love traveling but don't have an unlimited budget. So if you can do it for less, then so be it. We have so far got to our hotel. We're staying in a lovely hotel. It's a little bit out of the center. So we've come in by the metro. So we are going to try and test everything for ourselves and see what Athens has to offer. David's carrying all the bags, aren't you? He's very happy about that. So we've hiked up this very treacherous path. It's only about 200 meters, don't give it that. Hike. It's very rocky, feel like Bear grills. And um, we have been rewarded with a very beautiful view behind us of the whole of Athens. Very pretty, I am very out of breath because I'm really unfit. David's like bear, marching ahead. You feel like Bear grills. you moan like Hulk Pilkington, didn't you? Apparently, what did you say? Like it smells like parmesan you up here. Like bear grills, you moan like Carl Pilkington. Apparently, I moan like Carl Pilkington. But it is very pretty up here, even if we have had to hike. When the air is thin and the flame is low, I need you more. and go we'll for some drinks or we'll run over by motorbikes.
to the Electra Metropolis Hotel which has a beautiful rooftop bar and the pool is amazing. I will show you in a second. It's so, so gorgeous. So I think we're just gonna have a few drinks up here and chill for the rest of the afternoon. So we came back to the room after I last saw you and I fell asleep. So we've basically been in the room ever since. I'm such a grandma, I'm not very exciting. And David just ordered room service because I had the burrito at the Mexican. So I think we're gonna get another early night. Traveling is much more tiring than it seems. And yes, we're gonna have another exciting day tomorrow before our flight home. Good morning, so we're all packed up and ready to go. We've had a lovely room service breakfast this morning with a very beautiful view outside. So we packed our suitcases, got all ready and we are just about to head downstairs to check out. I think we're then gonna have a little wander around Athens, the town center where we were yesterday. And then we're gonna get a taxi to the airport and try and go to the zoo because apparently the zoo here is amazing. There's penguins and elephants which I love so we're gonna try and see if we can fit that in because it's right next to the airport so it should be a very fun and jam-packed day this is the remnants of our breakfast we didn't actually I didn't actually vlog it but I have posted lots of pictures on Instagram if you want to go and have a look at what it looked like before it was all eaten Acropolis which I think is the big ancient ruins we've just got a taxi up here and we're wandering up to explore hoping to find somewhere for food as well now and we are just next to our hotel having some lunch before we head off to the zoo so we found a little quiet corner in the middle of a park we've ordered some um, chicken slovaki which I can't pronounce but in pita bread so kind of like a gyros I think they're called I probably completely did that but anyway we are very excited for food and then once we've eaten we're going to set off for the zoo we've heard from everyone that it's a really really good zoo and it's massive so I think we're going to spend the rest of the day there before our flight home later this evening. So we liked the food so much that we ordered another portion of each of them which I don't think that's too bad. We're just feasting before we go to the zoo. We've arrived 
arrived at the zoo and the first animals we can see oh there's some parrots having an argument over there first thing we can see is some flamingos and then we're gonna have a wander around apparently this zoo is absolutely massive so there's lots to see God, look how many of them are, there are all around the outside. now after a very busy day we've been walking a lot all around the zoo and we've had a really really lovely time it's been a whirlwind short and sweet trip to Athens I feel like we've packed a lot into our kind of 48 hours in the city but it's been really really fun we've had a nice time seen a bit of sunshine and just had a lovely weekend it makes a change from being in London so if you have enjoyed this vlog, please do let me know in the comment box and give it a thumbs up. I've been really enjoying doing these vlogs recently and hopefully you've been enjoying watching them. There will be another vlog very soon as I'm actually off to Switzerland on Tuesday, so stay tuned for that one. Apart from that, let me know if you have any recommendations for where you think I should visit next.